Composer Home Edition, or Composer HE, is for users who want to modify some settings that shouldn't require an installer. Composer HE, which runs in Windows, makes it easy to monitor the devices in your system, upload and manage your digital music, create programs to perform multiple events with a button tab, and more. If you haven't done so yet, please view the Composer HE features and overview and Composer HE basics videos before you use Composer HE. As a precaution, Composer HE lets you change some settings in your system, but it does involve some risk for which you must assume responsibility. There's a chance you could disable your system if you change some settings or program your devices incorrectly. If this happens, contact your dealer. This video assumes that Composer HE is installed on your computer. If not, check with your dealer or see Composer HE Getting Started on the Control 4 Owners website. With Composer HE open, I'll click on the Agents button to open the Agents view. Before you work with Agents, you'll need to add these agents to your project. Just click Add in the Agents pane, select the agent to add, and then click OK. In this video, I've already added agents to my project. As you can see, they both appear in the Agents pane just below the Add button. You only add agents you'll be using in your programs. If you're no longer using that agent, you can click the Remove button to move the agent back to the Add list. In this video, I'll give you some tips about wake-up scenes and show you how to use some of the valuable features in wake-up. You can use the wake-up agent to set up a scene for lighting, music, TV, and thermostat changes to make your alarm clock include the whole home. Say you want to set the wake-up for 6, 6 a.m. The lights slowly ramp up and your favorite radio station starts playing quietly. You can also create some snooze settings if you don't wake up easily. I'll show you how to create and control wake-up scenes for the bedroom. I've got a TV, a touchscreen, lights, and blinds. I'll click on the Agents button and select Wake Up. I'll click on the Wake Up agent in the list and then click New. In the box, I'll type the scene's name. In this case, I want to create Mary's Wake Up scene. With your Wake Up scene, you can use any piece of media in your house to help you wake up. You can also use your lights or you can change your thermostat settings. Generally, most people already have their thermostat set to a program schedule so you don't need to change execute thermostat wake up program event based on your wake up scene. But if you have an erratic schedule where you wake up at different times every day, say 5 a.m. one day and 7.30 a.m. the next, I can program my wake up to execute, let's say, 60 minutes before I wake up. That way, if I get up at 5 a.m., my heater or air conditioner kicks on at 4 a.m. The house temperature is the temperature I want, so I won't worry about the thermostat in this example. With media, I can choose my albums or playlists. I can wake up to a movie every day or listen to broadcast audio, radio stations, Rhapsody, and more. I don't recommend that you use your favorites playlist if you set one up in the media view, however. You'd have to change the songs in your favorites playlist using the media view. It's easier to just create a new playlist called Wake Ups. And then you can change the songs as often as you want without disturbing your main favorites list. So I'll wake up to a playlist. If I click shuffle, the agent will shuffle from the first song, so I won't wake up to the same song every time. You can also set a discrete volume. If you don't set this volume, the volume will be whatever that room is set to. Then I can use my lights. So I'll set my lights to 30% with a 5 minute ramp rate. You can set up a second scene. I like to use my first scene as a snooze. The playlist turns on, it slowly pulls me out of my sleep. Now if I want to, I can use a room off, stop, or pause the playlist so I can sleep for a little longer. Here I can set start scene to 15 minutes after scene 1 because I like to slowly wake up. And then in my scene 2, I can wake up to something else if I want to another playlist, the morning news. I'll select the morning news and CNN. I'll make my volume louder and my lights a little brighter. 
Now the thing about your lights in a wake up is that your lights will incorporate all lights in that room. So if I'm going to wake up in my master bedroom, all lights in that room will turn on when the wake up scene executes. That can be annoying if you've got a bathroom fan that turns on. Instead, you can uncheck lights and create a new wake up lighting scene in your advanced lighting agent. If you don't know how to create a lighting scenes agent, see the video Composer HE using the lighting agents in programming. That way you can select only the lights you want to come on at whatever light levels and ramp rates you want. When you create the lighting scene, you'll need to program it. I'll talk about that next. For more information about how to use the agents or wake up scenes, refer to the Composer HE user guide on the owner's website at control4.com. Now I'll click on the programming button and then show you how to create a simple program that will execute your wake up scene. I'm going to select wake up and Mary's wake up in the wake up events pane. The statement when wake up scene Mary's wake up executes appears in the script pane. The next few steps involve adding actions. So I'll go over to the device actions pane and select what I want the scene to execute. First I'll scroll down to and select the lighting scenes in the list and wake ups. If you want two different lighting scenes, you'll have to select them in the lighting scenes actions list. So I'll drag the execute scene wake up on to the script pane. Now I want to add a delay for wake up scene one, wake up scene two, and so on. I'll set the delay for 15 minutes and drag the script to the script pane. Here's a tip. I can add blinds too, but the wake up agent doesn't have a box for blinds, so I can add those to my program. To do that, in the device actions pane, I'll select blinds and then up in the, in the commands tab. The script reads, bring up the bedroom blinds. I'll drag that to the script pane. Now you can set the wake up scene so it executes tomorrow morning. There are two ways you can do that, on your touch screen or in programming. Before you do that though, click File Refresh Navigators in the menu bar. On the touch screen, go to Wake Ups, select Mary's Wake Up, and then use the scroll bar to select the time you want the scene to execute. This is the easiest way to set up your scene. Now it's your turn to add wake up scenes to your programs. If you make a mistake, you can always delete script lines, choose not to back up your project, or not save the Composer HE session with the program you've created. Be aware, however, if you do this, any changes you've made will not be saved.